10 years ago, my ex-wife left our child crying alone and run off with her lover, now she asked me to take her back and wants a connection with my son. Seeking advice on how to handle the situation. Me, 34 male, my ex-wife, 35 female, call her ex, my neighbor, a fair partner, my neighbor's wife, 37 female, call her M. Me and my wife married in 2009. We had our baby in 2010. In November, 2010 while she was asleep, a message popped on her phone and was a flirty message. I checked on her phone and it was from our neighbor. I went through every single message which included cesting, sharing private photos and even had planned meetups at hotels. This was going on from the first week into our marriage. I felt like my world crumbled in front of me. I took screenshots of every message and saved on my phone. Next day I contacted M and let her know about the affair. They were married for four years and had their first baby almost exact same time as we had ours. I confronted my wife and told her that I am going to give her divorce. She started crying and everything else but I did not consider it. I also did paternity test on our child, son, because the affair timeline was same as conception date. After two days, when I come home from work, our baby was crying in our bed and X was nowhere to be seen. Then I found a letter of her telling that she did not love me and she had left with AP and to not contact them. I knew this was coming but I didn't believe that a mother can leave her child, was about 6 months, alone and can run off with her lover. I then went to M's house. She had received same letter by her husband. I felt sorry for her as she was going from postpartum depression, had her baby just a few months ago and was left alone. Also paternity test result came back and he was my son. I tried to contact X family but they also didn't know where she was and was shocked by her behavior. Her father even said that if she ever came back she would not be allowed to enter their house. They basically disowned her. L was very supportive. She began coming to my home to watch kids and even breastfed both of them, her and mine. As time passed, we were like family. My son called her mom and had known only her as mom. We also decided to go on dates. We engaged a year later and married in 2013. We had our first child in 2015. We often discuss things about our exes and how we were often disrespected by them. We were happy family. In 2018, when my son accidentally saw a picture of my ex, picture after birth so it included ex me and him, so we decided to tell him that her birth mother ex had passed away in car accident years ago and L took care of him since he was 6 months old. Fast forward 2 days ago, I received an anonymous email. I opened it and it read I want to see my son and want my family back. We are not divorced yet. I knew it was X. I showed this to L. L started freaking out and asked me if I would take her back. I calmed her down and told her that she was an ugly past and I would never leave you. I would never take her back. Now I am confused what to do? I will definitely not take her back but should I let her meet my son or not? Should I take my son's opportunity to have connection with her birth mother? Absolutely not. She was toxic 10 years ago and obviously hasn't changed. She will end up hurting all of you so much more than she already had. No. Coming from a child abandoned by their mother who only showed up every 3 years because stepbrother's dad tried to convince her she needed to be part of my life. But what if they went to a women's rightist counselor to work on things? She may have changed her behavior over the last 10 years. She might have grown as a person, perhaps by embracing women's rights. You're ducking nuts. I've been in a family dynamic similar to this. In my experience, it would do more harm to your son than good. When he is 18 you can tell him the whole story and let him decide. As a grown up, your ex made the decision to leave. If you truly did get a divorce I would fight with everything I have to maintain custody. She left. You stayed. She's holding on to the past. You're building a new future. She is not going to be a part of your future story. When the time is right, you can give the choice to your son. I would not wait too long to tell the son because I think the ex would maybe try to contact him and manipulate the truth to make OP look like the bad guy. It depends on the kid. When you have one crappy parent, you often become above average at spotting BS. This. When the child finds out his father lied and kept him from his mom, their relationship could be over. At the end of the day, his wife was a cheater and abandoned the child. It makes her a crappy person but it doesn't mean she would do the child harm. One could say the lie OP told the child could be more emotionally damaging to them. It would be best for the grown-ups involved to come to the table and work this out in the best interest of the child. 
It doesn't sound like any of them truly have it together. Introducing Newscaster Vocalizer, is a new first of its kind, groundbreaking app, which allows you to generate full-featured voiceovers from any text using direct access to Amazon-powered Newscaster Vocalizer without spending thousands of dollars. Just select a language and voice, paste your text, click a button, and it's done. If you do decide to let her see your son, I would have her go through your lawyers. You want to make sure you and your family are protected and that if she does see him, it's supervised and set up regularly so she's not coming into your son's life like a wrecking ball and causing him all kinds of grief and confusion. Yes, do everything through lawyers. Everything. All communications. Just give your attorney her info. Let them do it. The peace of mind will be worth the money, pointing finger, this, up pointing finger, yes. My lawyer's phone number is xxxxxxxxxxxxx. I would not have one word with her. I would not tell her anything, even the tiniest bit of information. I would not ask her anything. She will be able to manipulate you but she won't be able to manipulate a competent family attorney. It will be money well worth spending. 1. Telling the kids that your ex had passed away is wrong. You should never have done that. Your son, and likely your other kids, will need therapy or at the very least, you should consult a psychologist to get advice regarding how to tell them the truth. The more you lie, the likelier he will eventually go live with her and believe whatever excuse she gives him. 2. Assuming you have an actual judgment that gives you full custody, you can ignore her communication entirely or get a lawyer to send her a letter saying visitation is not in the child's best interest. You can then either wait for her to file in court asking for visitation or you can proactively attempt to have her parental rights terminated, perhaps also having his actual mother adopt him. Child support doesn't usually have an impact on custody, but a reminder that she has not paid child support for 10 years and that there are still many years left where it should be due can help as well. However, only through formal lawyer letter, not by responding directly. 3. You might not be able to prevent visitations from happening. At the very least, ask for a very slow progression with short visits supervised by a social worker or psychologist. 4. Did your wife ex-husband reappear as well? Expect that he might show up too. 5. Don't panic. Hey, OP. This is really solid advice. Also, I'd like to emphasize number 1. You have dug yourself in a lie. Do not continue to dig yourself further. Understand that children may not be able to see the big picture, but that doesn't mean you should deny them parts of their life. His bio mother is his bio mother and if he decides he wants her in his life, after therapy or when he is older or what have you, then you cannot deny him that without building resentment between you. Definitely pursue therapy, though. Also, there are lots of law firms that specialize in helping fathers with custody battles. Know that you are already disadvantaged going into the courtroom, so the fight might be long and difficult. I'm sorry the justice system will treat you the way it will. The lie about mom being deceased was a poor choice, but you can probably get past that by describing her complete disappearance, inability to contact her in any way so divorced basically in absentia, didn't expect to ever see her again. However now that she is back you should get competent legal help to protect your sole custody and probably prevent her from seeing the kid in any way. She is proven to be unreliable, flight risk and has proven history of abandoning kid. No reason to let her do it again just because her affair fizzled out and she wants to come back and get whatever she can out of you now. You did the wrong thing saying X had passed away to your son. If you don't remedy this, as he gets older he'll hate you for lying to him. He has the right to know a child-friendly explanation. He could have siblings he misses out on. How soon do you have to make this decision about telling your son? Can you contact a family counselor before them to help you decide? I mean, as a mother, if my spouse had left my crying baby alone, I would cut them out of our lives forever. But also, speaking as an adopted child, I think you should have told him the truth from the beginning. Kids can handle a lot more truth than people give them credit for. But since it's already been told, I would suggest talking to a counselor to see what advice they have. I would not want to be sat down at the age of 18 and told that my whole life was a lie. Not all children though. Once my SO's brother found out that his dad wasn't his bio dad he began to treat him like crap. It really hurt my SO's dad. They still do not speak. That's why people should not wait. But that's also why I told him he needs to contact a family counselor. People should always know the truth. 
I can understand the part he treated them like crap and rightfully so I don't even object it because paternity fraud can devastate lives forever. Worldwide comments of the day, first and foremost he needs to go complete no contact with the ex, I'd go so far as claim sole guardianship over his kids. After that he needs to get into therapy since this has been one massive storm of mental draining slash damage and he needs just to have someone to talk to about this. It's always the guy that just came home from serving that gets cheated on. Something tells me he isn't going to divorce his wife. Grow a backbone and a pair and stand up for yourself. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more interesting and relatable Reddit videos.